Good morning, everybody. Hope you had a good evening, and um, here's my vlog for today. So what you're seeing here is uh, my husband's in the other room with his coffee, and I just made him some of this toast with uh, got butter on it, and then wild blueberry preserves. It's my favorite jam, other than people's homemade. I love that, too. And then I got some pork chops out of the freezer. Let's see. Pork loin, bone-in, blah, blah, blah. Um, probably won't be that popular here. They're not big into pork chops. But if you give me a pork chop and applesauce, I'm in a little piggy heaven. I realized that I never showed you this. This is at my entry. I just put, you know, that there because I didn't even know what to do with it. But um, I've got a little bowl here. This is supposed to look kind of natural, you know. So those are the little ornaments that I made. Some yarn balls and some pine cones and I've got I think my mother gave me this too years ago and I've always liked that and then I got this probably from my mother <laughs> another candle and then I got this at a little gift shop a few years back and I love it and then there's a mirror here too kind of like that so that's at the entrance I'm going to try to show you this without showing the mess that is my desktop desk. <laughs> but uh, here's my bigger nativity scene. I know it's not very reverent, but I've always thought that the little shepherd boy looked a little bit like Snow White in this one. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> but I really like this. I have another one that's blue and white, and some years I get it out. It belonged to my brother who passed away, like, I don't know, 30 years ago, more, more than that, maybe. And then I have this right at the front door, so that lights up. It's got a little battery pack in it, and I think this is just sweet. And then, this is from Thanksgiving, but I left it up, <laughs> just because I thought it was cute. And the little boy in it belongs to my grandson, and he left it last time, and he left it again this time. He, you know, he sets it down and forgets it. So when he comes in, I have it in my hand and hand it to him, and he just lights up like it's magic. She has a toy just like mine. <laughs> and then lastly, there's this, and this actually lights up too. I haven't lit it yet this year. I think just the street sign. I can't remember. And there's the felted Santa and Mrs. Claus, Mr. and Mrs. Claus. And then sometimes I'll put candy in this, and I just haven't yet this year. Sometimes I put ornaments in it. It just depends. Here's the last shot of the tree. See, it goes black and white to color. I've shown this when I first put it up, but I'll show it again. And then this is the table over here. Like I said before, those boxes that I have are all holding ornaments when it's not up. And then there's a worker Santa making toys and more of those glass things that I sometimes put candy in. My mom made this Santa head from vinegar bottle, yarn, fabric, and other findings. And she used to sell them like crazy every year. She hasn't made them in years, but she gave me one and she signed it. And I put it up every year. I forgot something. <laughs> it's gonna sound terrible, but my mom gave me the chair and the blanket <laughs> like 20 years ago. So long time. And there's the mantle. Well, that's cute. Here, let me move that brush. There we go. And I think I've shown this enough. Bunch of trees. <laughs> and the tree that's out here. The only thing I've done different with the tree so far is I put a tree skirt around that table there. Do you hear that? There is standing water in the road down here and cars speed through here and hit that water and it makes a big, like, a car hitting a big pond of water sound. It's pretty crazy. Anyway, porch, blah, blah, blah. Here it comes.
Oh, that's going the other way. So he didn't go through that. They have to come toward, here comes one. Okay, nope, he hit a different pond. <laughs> I wanted you to be able to hear it. Anywho, so I'll show you one more thing. I keep saying, oh, I didn't make my wreath yet. Wreaths. My husband went out and cut down a bunch of, so you can see all that greeny lay in, greenery lay in there for me to do one, and I still haven't yet. So, lastly, I have another sleigh just sitting there with nothing in it. A welcome sign up my ladder that I put stuff on here. And if I do a wreath, I'll put it right there on that nail. So, that is my my whole thing today, I think. It's going to be a short one. I'm wishing you a happy, happy day. There are only like three hot dogs left for leftovers, but I do have these fish fillets, right? Where's my finger? There. <laughs> so I'm going to probably give them that don't want the pork chops tonight fish sandwiches, you know, with the tartar sauce and the relish and the American cheese and the fish on a hamburger bun like you get from the Golden Arches. So that'll be for them. You know what I'm going to try to do today for Vlogmas? I'm going to try to make, and it's not going to be the same, and I know that, but it's going to be close, all right? That's what I'm telling myself. I'm going to make a dupe for a uh, Starbucks Cranberry Bliss Bar. <sighs> It's true. I'm going to try. <laughs> now, I looked up the ingredients in the actual Bliss Bar, and that's cake that you're getting, um, and not here. Here, we use what we have, and this was laying down in the bottom of the deep freeze, too, from last Christmas. So, it never got made, and now I'm going to give it a try. If it doesn't turn out, it doesn't turn out. I started off with a 9 by 13 pan, spread some Pam so that I can lay this flat and hopefully kind of evenly from end to end here. And I'm going to, it also has, did you know that Cranberry Bliss Bars have flecks of orange zest? They do. So I'm going to put some orange zest flakes in this cookie dough, because this is actually just sugar cookie dough. And I'm going to put a little bit of this Great Value brand because no expense has been no expense has been spared. Okay, a little bit of dried sweetened cranberries and candied pecans. Now I know there's no candied pecans in the in the Bliss bars, but that's what's in this package, and that's what we're having. I do have cream cheese frosting. Just bought it yesterday. So on top of the cream cheese frosting, after it's all done and cooled, I'll put just cranberries, I think. I don't know, maybe I won't, maybe I'll put both. But anyway, it can't be any worse than it is now because I'm not doing anything with it. Let's see how this goes for me. All right, I've got it all smoothed out on the bottom here and I uh, tried, like I said, to get it as even as possible. And I just zested this orange and that's probably just about enough. I'm going to try to get enough of it that I can spread just a little bit from end to end, side to side, so that it comes out all even and nice. And I'll show you when that's done. All right. Oops. My camera keeps... Yeah, there we go. So um, the hardest part was spreading this out. Now, it looks like it's mostly on one end, but this, this was a very, very um, oily-like orange peel oil uh, and it's easy to smooth, but not all the pieces went together. But all the cookie has some of that oil essence on it. And this was the best way to, to spread it, I found. Um, at first, I was trying to just flick it like that. <laughs> it wasn't going right, so I quit trying that. Now, I'm going to press some of the cranberry and um, pecans in next. These pieces of cranberry and candied pecan are kind of big, so I'm probably going to cut these into maybe five, four or five pieces if I can if I can do it. And of course, the cranberries, some of them will be small, but most of them are too big. All right, I have chopped up just a, like a few nuts, not many at all. Mostly, these are the sweetened dried cranberries, and I'm going to press them all in as best I can. Then I'm going to stick this into the refrigerator covered for probably 15 minutes or so because usually 
when you do sugar cookies, if you want them to hold their shape, at least, I don't know if it has to do with doneness, uh, you want them cold. You use cold dough. There's a lot of butter in sugar cookie dough, and I think that's what it has to do with getting cold, being cold. Okay, so I think that's done. I'm going to cover it. I'm going to get to chopping some of these sweetened cranberries now for the actual frosting. And then in 15 minutes, I'll stick it in the oven. The cranberries are chopped really small and ready to go into the frosting. This just came out of the refrigerator. It's got more stiffness to it. It hardened just a little bit. It, I don't know what you'd call that. And the oven is preheated. So here we go. It's in. 11 minutes. All right, so the cookie portion is done. And what you're seeing here are the dried cranberries and uh, orange zest. And so now I have the cream cheese and candied cranberry frosting. And that'll go on top. Well, there it is, and I didn't take the frosting all the way to the edges because I just didn't make enough, and I didn't want to make more because I thought this would be fine. I'm going to plate it and show it and taste it and see how it works out. Yeah, I think I will hand it more than plate it. It's, you know, sugar cookie dough, so it's going to be cookie-ish, and I will try it. It's good. I like it. I wouldn't call it a dupe for the Cranberry Bliss Bar, but of its own, on its own, it's a delicious cranberry orange sugar cookie bar. So, from henceforth, that is a cranberry orange sugar cookie bar. <laughs> okay, if you liked what you saw, I hope you'll consider coming back. Give me a thumbs up and subscribing. Take care, everybody. Bye.